Hey yo, it's Brain Lord. Welcome back to Medieval 2 Total War as Venice and Malone. If you remember last time, we uh, took Rome. Yeah, we took Rome, didn't we? Wasn't that the last one? I uh, maybe I don't remember. Anyway, as we load up here, we'll get back. I believe it was Milan's turn, and we'll get back into the action here. Well, uh, sorry, I haven't recorded this for a while. I guess I just haven't really <coughs> felt like it, but. Uh, you know what? I feel like recording some of it today, so that's what we're gonna do. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, that's right. We named it Pope Town, and uh, have a cardinal here and stuff. All right, all good, all good. And uh, taking Palmero, we're sieging Caligari here as the Milanese or Bradanians. Uh, no, the, we're the Lordians. Yes, green is the Lordians, red is the Bradanians. That's right. Okay, so that's looking good. Um, we got qu quite a bit of an army moving around. And, uh, looks like the the Germans had quite a big an army on our border as well. I'll have to watch out for them. But I think that's about all we had to do for this turn. There's not really much money we can spend or anything, so... I'm gonna save it and simply end the turn. And Sicily desires a ceasefire. Uh, that kind of rhymes, not really. But, uh... <clears throat> let's see if we can offer a settlement for him. Let's see, let's see if it's... No, oh, that's very demanding. Let's try just one. Let's try Caligari. That's the one that's under siege currently. Uh, if we could get that in a deal, that would be nice. That'd save us some time. Very demanding. We'll try it though. Firmly ejected. I just don't want. I don't want it just a random ceasefire. Uh, it's not. Not what I'm for. So, yeah. And as the turn goes over to Venice here, we should probably continue our war with the Byzantines, and we'll see how that's going. And uh, first check, uh, in turn report. Oh, uh, doing okay as Britannia, not great. Uh, Zagreb, an agent was found. Perhaps they're going to come over and attack Zagreb. That would be kind of bad. Um, kind of a good spy, though. And a new family member. Cardinal promoted from France. That's unfortunate. Uh, Holy Roman Empire has declared war on Lordia. Apparently, that big army did attack. Burn. So, we're going to have to go see what that's like uh, as we get over to... Lord Eastern, and it uh, looks like a large Imperial Crusader force is moving, which is kind of dumb timing. Why would they attack us when they're sending out Crusader forces? Uh, it's kind of counterproductive. I guess maybe they're that confident? I don't know. But uh, regardless, we're going to build some roads here. And uh, Ragusa, we can build... Well, actually, let's just build some troops in Ragusa. Uh, in case they do attack up here, we'll build some more troops in the area to try to defend against them. And we'll build an inn over in Bregdania. And I think that's all we need to do for our money. Just kind of checking the area around here. And oops. That was a little weird. Uh, we have Gerardo Selvo here who's going to move towards Nikea. I'm not sure why I was moving him back that way, but we're going to move him towards Nikea here. He's going to siege Nikea. And uh, hopefully we will take that. And here in Smyrna, we can move out probably next turn. We'll train train another unit here and then maybe we'll move out next turn and uh, maybe uh, try to soften up Sofia with that army because he's quite a good commander. We have a cardinal up here. Uh, Corinth doesn't have much garrison. This place has a decent garrison. It's got a couple good priests as well. So that's good. And Sofia up here is their stronghold at the moment. Is there something and yeah. Okay. So things are looking pretty good. So far, we're we're definitely on the attack against the Byzantines. They're definitely suffering, and the Sicilians are suffering. We'll have to see what the extent of the German attack we did suffer there. This these burn, and uh, looks like an equal force size-wise. So let's check them out. Uh, can't really see too much, although it does look like they have some advanced troops or some at least moderate troops. So if there if there's a bunch of armored spearmen, we may have a hard time. But uh, and burn is already upgraded, so that's interesting. We'll queue that up. So I don't forget about it, and because uh, I will. And Lordia can finish finish an artist studio. We can go ahead and build. Oof, I don't know. I guess we can build a brothel. We haven't even built a brothel here. Might as well do that. Um, relations have worsened with Sicily. I wonder why. And the wars that we've seen before. Uh, we can send these troops. Now that we're at war with um, Bredenia. Or at, or at war with the Imperial, the Germans. I was going to send these down to fight Sicily, but I think what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to blockade this Blockading port first. And uh, we're going to tell acquisition. Let's see. Do they want us to take a... I'm not quite sure what they're saying. 
that wants to be in this territory, I guess. Yes, my lord. Oh, right, he was going to that. Okay. All right, so we got that, and we'll see how yes, that goes next turn. If it's not mission complete, we'll check it again, see if it was something else. Um. Anyway, with this army here, I think we're gonna combine. Yeah, we got some good forces down here. We can bring up some forces from N Naples. We'll bring up the crossbows. I'll uh, send those up. <clears throat> and we'll combine those with the force in Pope Town here. Uh, Agostino Rossi. And most of his yes. militia here can go up and join this army here. Pope Town's moderately happy still. And I'll send these guys. Um, well, we don't need to send them down. We'll have them chill up here. If there's an emergency, they can go deal with it. Uh, quicker than this army and we'll they'll be able to merge in a couple turns and we'll send them north to counterattack against the Germans we won't try to defend Bern because I think Bern can be defended itself but uh, we'll try to take uh, probably on Innsbruck to the north and the siege of that town is going well that castle so nothing bad there uh, again I do not want to siege attack a castle it's just it's just not good not good practice so not gonna do it and now we got some money to spend, so let's go ahead and spend it. We can build uh, crop rotation here in Dijon. And raise the tech rate in Dijon. You know, the Dijon Master. Dijon Master, yeah. And uh, over in Pope Town, we can build some ports. We didn't we saw that there's no ports in Pope Town. But uh, there isn't, so we'll build some there. That'll help with our trade. Uh, <clears throat> we're trading an advanced army in Palmero. That's right, I forgot about that. And, uh, We'll see what we're going to do with that once we've finished construction of a large army force there. And, uh, yeah, I think we'll go attack that castle up there with that army from Pope Town. I think that's probably the wisest choice. Uh, anyway, I'm going to save it and end the turn, go back over to Venice. And, oh, Captain Ludwig has attacked us already. Uh, lots of armored sergeants, a couple of ballista, unit of peasants, and uh, mailed knights. So not a bad army, not led by a general, however, and not enough siege equipment, I don't think. But uh, we'll try to engage, and we'll see what happens. So, fight! Uh, he said we're attacking. We're not. We're, we're defending, dude. We're defending. Uh, war is delightful for those who have no experience of it. That is true. And uh, that's why I enjoy playing these games, because it's delightful. And I've never experienced war in real life, so I wouldn't... I'm not tainted by the actual horrors of war. I'm sure it's bad. Like, Don't get me wrong, I'm not illusioned about that. Um, but, uh, <clears throat> you know, I still like playing war games and stuff. Anyway, we'll listen to the speech here and uh, have a couple dramatic zooms before we zoom in. Seems to be the course of action for these speeches. Any second now. We are here to fight, but victory will be elusive if disobedience is your watchword. I would have order in our ranks and calm. I would have men listen to their officers and do all with a willing heart. It is not much to ask. Over there stands a miserable collection of sausage eating, a beer swilling, imperial <laughs> food in case. <laughs> I think they will welcome nice. death. Oh, good insult. Yeah, pudding heads. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, I do not shout orders for the pleasure of shouting. I shout orders because I would like them to be obeyed. <laughs> Soldiers, by tradition, obey the orders of their generals. Shall we start with a simple one? Give a cheer and dishearten the foe! Wow, apparently these guys are like disloyal or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And I think that's about it. Okay. Some dog has opened oh. our gates to the enemy. May he rot in hell. I guess that means we're not able to deploy for battle? Huh. That's odd. But, uh... I think we're going to move the archers over here. And, uh... Yeah, because deployment is definitely over. That's odd. You know what, I'm going to keep the archers there, and we're actually going to... Where's these archers? Well, we're going to move these archers over here. 
And, uh, that'll be a nice flanking force. It doesn't look like they're actually moving up at all. And let's see, what should we do with our infantry? We can put our infantry right here. That, no, no, right there. Put it right there. There, there we go. We got those two, that unit there. Let's do one at a time. But we'll put all the, put a bunch of our heavy infantry in the, the center here. And that should defend us against them. Make sure these guys run. And, uh, let's see. Actually, they're setting up their ballistas here first, which I guess makes sense. I don't know why they started so far away. It's kind of odd. But, uh, we're going to pull out our cavalry here. And we'll have those guys hunt down the ballistas. Because they're leaving their ballistas wide open, so they're basically asking for it. So we might as well go take them down. And that's what we're going to do. And there's my roommate. Say hi, roommate. Hi, roommate. Okay, that works. But, anyway, these ballistas should be easy to take down. And, uh... Then they'll just have to rely on their built siege equipment to take down the walls. So it should be fairly easy for them. And uh, okay, we got some sergeant spearmen we can deal with. I'm not sure what we want to do with these guys. Uh, in fact, we'll keep these sergeant spearmen back here. We'll defend the plaza with them in case something goes wrong, and we'll keep our general back here as well. And that should work pretty well. And uh, yeah, okay. So we got our cavalry out here. Let's have him go charge against the Ballista. And, uh... Now, in, in previous situations, I've had experiences where cavalry die upon charging through the actual Ballistas themselves. So I'm going to try to sweep around the edges with uh, these two units of cavalry. And just hit the men behind them first. And then, if need be, I can charge in with the third unit. Uh, I'm just kind of checking. I don't think they had any archers units. Um, so there's really no point in keeping the cavalry out here after taking down the Ballista. Because they're not going to be too useful against the enemy um, spearmen. So, we'll charge in here and cry. Oh, look at the Aurora out and these guys immediately. Very nice. And we'll just, just take down the rest of them because we might as well. So they can't get back on the Blissas and then they're forced to charge with their main guys and uh, make sure we cut down the rest of them. And uh, they are moving with their more main forces now. So, like I said. And, uh, yeah, again, I don't think there's any archers in the ranks that we can have to worry about. It looks like they're only taking their ladders. That's weird. Whatever. And uh, we'll pull our cavalry back here. I said we'll pull our cavalry back here. So we have to do it one at a time again. Uh, this, the street detection in this game is a little annoying. But, uh, you know, <clears throat> minor grievance. Not a really big deal. And uh, we got all of our infantry moved in here. Very nice. And uh, actually, you know what? We need to take these armored sergeants. And... Why are these guys walking? Um, I guess it's okay. As long as the armored sergeants don't catch up to them, I don't know why they're not running. Let's try putting them back in run mode. Uh, okay, whatever. I guess they can walk back in. But, uh, <clears throat> anyway. What was I doing? Uh, take skirmish one off these archers, definitely. Before I forget. And let's see if they start firing. They should start firing soon. There we go. And uh, we're going to take the armored sergeants up here to defend against the ladders. We're gonna just going to... Eh. I guess we'll just plop them up here somewhere. Or maybe I'll wait until the ladders come up a little farther. So we can get some good shots with their archers. And there we go. It looks like our cavalry is moving in now. Maybe they're just... No, some of them are still walking. I don't know. What are... And, uh... Yeah. Okay. All right, so now we're going to put our Sergeant Spearman up there. Or our uh, Armored Sergeant, I to say. We have Sergeant Spearman as well, but they're not the same thing. And we'll throw them up there, and if we need more support, we got more troops down here as well. We'll also guard the gatehouse here, because apparently our gatehouse is open. Like, our gates are permanently open, I think. Because that's what the guy said, I don't know. Looks like the, looks like that's the truth. The enemy have ladders at the walls. Uh, in that case, I'm not sure why they're not going under the gate. It looks like they're all focusing on the... They all want to come up the ladder. That's really dumb. And hopefully our armor sergeants can make it up there before their armor sergeants make it up there. So we can help them repel them. And our archers are shooting the guys as they come up the ladder. So that's perfect. Yeah! Go archers. And uh, they're coming up here. And we should be able to handle them pretty easily, I think. Oh, there we go. We're flooding in right away. Perfect, perfect timing, guys. And uh, just kind of wait for them to plop, and then we'll order the attack on their unit. And 
there we go. Go, go, go. Go, Armored Sergeants. Take him down. And, uh... Assaulting from ladders in Manila 2 is very difficult. As you will see here, it's very hard to get get any kind of ground moving in your favor. So, you should be able to take him down pretty easily. Although, they are engaging in some of our archers. Uh, a lot of our archers melee attack, so they're not afraid to fight. Just have everybody up here melee attack. Uh, we'll lose some archers in the process, but our armored sergeant should be able to clean up the rest of them. Even our peasant archer should be able to do a little damage. And, uh... Yeah, they're definitely losing men. Uh, not too fast, because, it, well, they are armored sergeants, so they have decent attack. And, uh... Yeah, we should be able to handle them pretty easily, though. They're down to 70 men. And, uh, if we can cut out these guys here, that'll be the first step. And I think they're sending more units up after this, but, uh... We try to hold the line here with our armed sergeants and peasant infantry. And, uh... We'll send this unit up here in reserve. And he'll just chill in the walls there. And if something goes wrong, he can flood in really quickly. And you know what? Everybody's in a clump right there. And what do they get? They just got their horses out there. Um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my cavalry out again. Bring my cavalry to bear. Cavalry of the castle. And we're going to swing around and hit these guys in the back. There we go. The first unit's already routing, so that's nice. So they're taking down prisoners already. Uh, so very cool. And uh, <clears throat> we're going to try to hit all these guys in the back. Uh, hopefully enough units will have routed so that their morale is gone. And uh, they have some peasants in there somewhere. I don't think peasants have routed yet. So uh, if we can make the peasants out, we can definitely hurt the morale even more. Uh, that's why that's why I question putting peasants in an army like this because if they start routing, it only hurts your it, it only hurts you. There's no point in putting them in. Uh, they don't even add that many. One unit of peasants doesn't add that much number. They're not even like good fodder. And as you can see, they're starting to route. So we're gonna position our cavalry behind them. A to sweep up the routing units, and B so we can get a good charge. And it looks like most of them are shaken. So I think it'll work. Their peasants are wavering. Uh, let's make sure to attack the peasants first, so we can get some good route going on. And boom, boom, boom! Look at that! Yeah! Woo! Big route chunk right there. One more unit to break here. There we go. We broke all of those units. And let's just hunt them down. Just casual. Look at look on the bottom right there. You, you can see how many prisoners are taking. And that's ridiculous. Just those numbers. Stop. Keep chasing them. Why did you stop? There we go. I don't know what they're doing. Anyway, just look at those numbers. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at that, we're going up to 600. Uh, we're probably going to hit 700, 800 maybe. Even. And, uh, oh, we got to break off. Enemy cavalry coming in to attack. So no more prisoners for now. <clears throat> but 750 prisoners, that's not bad. And we'll attack these mailed knights here. They kind of got a side charge on us, so we are losing some men, but, uh, oh, here they're coming up their second unit of male knights as well. We should probably, yeah, we'll see about this. Um, yeah, we're not, we're winning, but we're not killing them very fast, probably because we have our male, or our mounted sergeants out front who aren't very good. So we're going to send our general out here, and he's going to get a rear charge on these cavalry. And, uh, it's kind of the battle of rear charges here, so... There's that. And uh, we'll take down these cavalry, and that should be the game. Because I don't think any of their infantry is going to come back from routing. Uh, I think we depleted them enough. And uh, our archers should be shooting at them. That would be nice, and there's some random guys chilling down here. Doing the doing the routing step, I don't know. And our general should be coming out soon, hopefully. Any second. And then we can add him to the battle here. I think we will win this battle eventually, but I'd like to not take as many casualties. If possible, so I'm going to bring out my guys. There we go. General's coming out. And I'll have him attack the male knights here. They're down to 47. Must have been getting hard. Hit hard with the archers. So we're going to take them down here. Uh, there we go. Their numbers are going down very quickly here. And we should be able to take them out without any problem. They're just slapping these guys. Slapping these horsemen. And the other unit broke. And we killed their general. So, very nice. And... <clears throat> Their victory. So, we're going to route them up a little bit. We're going to take down some more of these horsemen. Take down some of their other guys as well. And just have a good old day of it. Good old show of it, you know? And, um... Try to run down some of these guys as well. Because why not? And six-speed it. 
Uh, I do like the six speed option in this game as compared to just only triple speed in Rome Total War. Because uh, when you want to speed it up, you know, you want to speed it up a lot. So, works pretty good. I'm going to hunt down as many of these guys as we can. And uh, call it a day. So, over 800 prisoners for sure. Very cool. And uh, the music died off, so that's the perfect time to end the battle. And look at those. We killed 1,400 men, and we didn't even lose 100. So we did very good at the siege defense there. They didn't even get past the walls at all. Even though they had the gate opened with a spy, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what they're thinking. And, uh... Most honorable victory, indeed. And I think we've killed most of their army, and they're sending in another army to attack Burn from the east. Uh, hopefully they don't go down and attack Lordia. That would be the smart choice by them. But uh, hopefully they don't. We'll have to see how that progresses. And Thessalonica is besieged by... Oh my gosh, that's a lot of guys. Um, led by their faction leader. Faction leader is attacking Thessalonica here with a very good counterattack. And uh, relations approved with France. Kind of funny because our Milan relations with France are really low. But uh, whatever. Anyway, Durazzo has built rows. We can go ahead and build some farms. Uh, might as well train a unit there to defend it. It doesn't take from population, so it doesn't even matter. I'll uh, we'll build a port over in Constantinople. It's kind of weird that they don't have a port. And it looks like some Hungarian Crusaders are coming down. Looks like some Hungarian Crusader cavalry. Very nice, very nice. And uh, Ger Gerardo Selvo will go attack Nikea here. So, very nice. And uh, we'll take our counselor out here. Leave a couple units, two units and an archer there, and send him out to go attack. Yes. Uh, to go to go to defend Thessalonica. That's what I'm saying. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully that'll go well. Um, and then maybe we can counterattack against the castle to the north. That would be very nice. Very good indeed. And things are looking pretty good. Otherwise, besides that sneaky, well, it's not really a sneak attack. They're right there, but. Uh, Slightly unexpected attack, but we should be able to take Nikea. We have a bigger force and a good commander, so I think we have Nikea, and uh, then after that we'll take down their last Byzantium town to the north there. And that's just going to be the Sophie, Sophia Castle. And uh, things are looking pretty good. We're going to save it and end the turn, go to Milan, and this guy, he's got some Dread Piety in command. But he's got minus four loyalty. Holy crap, that's no... He's pretty much going to rebel regardless of what I do. So let's not have that go on. And, uh... Uh... What do I want to build here? I guess we'll, we'll build a catapult maker. We can start getting some siege equipment going. That'll be very nice and helpful. Siege equipment is very good in this game because uh, troops move slower in this game. So siege equipment has more time to hit them. Basically, that's one reason. So uh, I'll build some more troops here. I'll build some more feudal knights. And some armored sergeants. And uh, then we'll decide to s where we want to send our men. Because it's going to be a very good army once it comes out of the gates. And, um, yeah. I was looking pretty good I here. You honorably, my worthy foe. Uh, what else do we need to do? Oh, yeah, we can move this guy up. We need to move him up. And next turn, these guys can merge together. And we'll actually merge them now. And we got a lot of crossbowmen. Uh, but that's okay, I guess. And we'll go attack that castle. Looks like we can take, get three turns there. That's pretty good. Uh, three turns up to that settlement. And we'll try to attack that castle and take it. And then uh, I'll go and move on from there. See if the Germans want to surrender if we take that castle. Maybe some other ones. And uh, we still have this mission here. Um, not sure what this really means. It's highlighting that area. Let's go. I guess there's a resource up there. I didn't highlight it last time. but uh, We'll go see what that resource is up there. And uh, we'll go take it down. And there's some Swiss Pikeman rebels. That's interesting. So I guess we are in Switzerland over there, aren't we? And uh, large German army there. Uh, we need to be build some reinforcements here in Lordia. Get some cavalry and crossbowmen. That would be nice. And got an assassin, a French assassin here. We don't really have anything to assassinate besides the spy, so I'm not too worried about that. And what else is going on? I think I'm going to save it, and we're going to end the turn here. I speak on behalf of and Germany wants a ceasefire, so let's check out what they want. Uh, very generous is the ceasefire, so we can probably get something out of it. 
Mm. Uh, how about some tribute here? How about 2,000 for five turns? Okay, that's balanced, but uh, I want I want to make them pay. I want to be demanding because I I, I want to continue the war. I want to counterattack. So 10,000 florins. Nine. No. Only on this meeting. All right. Whatever. Uh, looks like they're moving towards burn. Yes, indeed. That's good. And holy cow, Emperor Nicaeus here has besieged us, or has launched a siege attack. Um, yeah, that's pretty painful. Um, actually, I kind of have to get going, so I'm gonna probably end this episode off here, guys. Sorry to leave it on a cliffhanger, but uh, next time we'll clean this up, and uh, well, well, I don't know. Clean this up is kind of strong. I don't know if we're gonna be able to even win. It's gonna be close, but uh. We'll do this battle next time, and uh, thanks for watching this episode of Medieval 2 Total War. Gordon Lord signing out. Peace.